Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to see how to install Kokoro 82M, a lightweight and powerful open source text to speech generator, locally on your PC. Before we dive in, consider subscribing to my channel for more tutorials like this. All right, let's dive right into it. First, create a new folder anywhere on your PC. Make sure you have at least 10 gigabytes of free storage available. Once the folder is ready, open your command prompt. You can do this by clicking on the search bar, typing CMD and pressing enter. Next, go to the link provided in the description and check the README file. Simply follow the instructions there, most commands can be copied and pasted directly into your terminal. Copy and run the git clone command on your CMD. Once it is done, get into the Kokoro TTS AIO folder by copying and pasting the CD command. Now, create a new environment by copying the command in step 2 and activate the virtual environment. Pro tip, follow along with the video carefully to avoid making mistakes during the process. Depending on your system's configuration, the setup might take some time, so be patient. Now, let's check your CUDA version. Note, CUDA is only available in NVIDIA Graphic and cannot be used in AMD or Intel Graphic Card. Don't worry if you don't have a GPU, you can skip this step. You can still run Kokoro using just your CPU by installing PyTorch for CPU. Kokoro is very lightweight and it works smoothly even without a dedicated GPU. So for those who have NVIDIA GPU, open CMD and type NVCC-DAS version. This command checks which version of CUDA is installed on your PC and whether your graphics card supports it. If you're unsure, visit NVIDIA official site to confirm compatibility. Important note here, even if your CUDA version appears to be something, installing it might throw an error. If that happens, simply install CUDA 11.8. This usually resolves the issue. If this is your first time doing this, the process may take one to two minutes to complete. Once the base setup is done, install the required dependencies by copying and pasting the commands from option 5 in the README file. Then download the model by running Python download model .py. This might take a while depending on your internet connection. After that, you'll need to install eSpeakNG. Just copy and paste the download link into your browser. Scroll to the bottom and download the ESP Kenji X64 version. Once downloaded, run the installer and follow the steps. As I have already installed it, it won't let me install again, but you can check the program files to confirm it's there. Next, activate the model by copying the activation link and pasting it into the CMD window. Once that's complete, you can either type pythonapp.py or simply run the runapp.bat from the installation folder. Once the model loads successfully, you'll see a local URL ending 8080. Press Ctrl and click the link. This will open the Kokoro UI in your browser. From here, you can explore all the amazing features. Batch TTS, generate audio from plain text. Multi-speech generation, create speech in multiple voices using a special format. SRT dubbing, upload SRT subtitle files to auto-generate audio sync to timestamps. Voice mixing, blend different voices to create unique synthetic voices. Get voice names, check out all available voices and choose your favorite. You can even download your custom voices and save them as new voice packs. So go ahead, explore the full potential of Kokoro. Let's try generating few voices and see how it performs. In Batched TTS, you can generate audio of any length using a voice from the drop-down menu. 
This is the test audio to see how it performs. This is the test audio to see how it performs. You can use the multiple speech generator by writing the voice name inside curly brackets followed by what you would like it to say. If you haven't subscribed to the Devil Panda yet, what are you even doing? Smash that like button, or I might just cry. Comment below with your favorite part, or I'll haunt your notifications. Panda deserves more subs. I said what I said. Subscribe now, or miss out on the coolest content on this side of YouTube. Voice Mix is this amazing feature where you can use multiple voices to create a new voice. Subscribe now or miss out on the coolest content on this side of YouTube. Subscribe now or miss out on the coolest content on this side of YouTube. Subscribe now or miss out on the coolest content on this side of YouTube. And you can also download the new voice to use in future projects. If you have any questions or run into issues, drop a comment below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.